busy here at Queenstown Airport. Aren't planes the coolest things? The way they just take off up into the air? I wonder if I copied everything that a plane did, whether I'd be able to take off like that too. What do I need to do? How about wings out? Start my engine. And take off! Uh, let's give that another try. didn't work and I don't know why planes are much bigger and heavier than I am well, what does make things fly the wind if the birds are flying you need the, um, your legs need to be tucked up um, feathers when wings flap you fly um, when they flap their wings or go like that um, the ear goes underneath like a wings or a plane or something can make it the yeah, and if it has a motor it's a lot easier. You need to have wings. Birdie. With their wings. You get lots of birds and tie them onto the um, wings and then they flap their wings and off you go. The structure of the wings if it's an aeroplane. Wings because when your wings go up and down the the air yeah, force go pulls you up. Psst. I have it on good authority that that bird there holds the secret to flight. I just need to get close enough so I can extract the information. Spit it out. What's the secret to flight? Come on, out with it, or it's the gourmet cookbook for you. Drat! It's a decoy. I'll never know the secret of flight. The Bernoulli's principle is one of the main parts of the premise of aerodynamics. Bernoulli's principle relates an increase in flow velocity to a decrease in pressure, and vice versa. An airplane wing is designed so that the air flows more rapidly over the upper surface of the wing than the lower one. And that means that there's a decrease in pressure over the top surface in comparison to the lower surface. That gives planes their lift and keeps them in flight. And I think it might be time to test that theory. Aerodynamics in action. My breath is pushing away the air above the paper. It's reducing that air's pushing power. The air underneath the paper has the normal air pressure, so it's stronger and it pushes the paper up. The shape of an object affects the amount of wind resistance or drag that slows its motion down. A round object like a cricket ball has a medium amount of wind resistance or drag so that you can spin it round quite easily. Ooh, okay, that's enough of that. Oh. Something large and flat experiences a high amount of drag. It's harder to move through the air. Right, now, the shape of an airplane wing is specially designed to minimize that drag. This shape is known as an airfoil. For any aircraft to fly, it must produce enough upward force to support the weight of the machine and its pilot. Paragliding works this way. When a paraglider is fully inflated, it forms a wing. 
a wing that creates lift in the same way as that of a conventional aircraft. The paraglider's wing is constantly flying forwards and downwards through the air, and in doing so, provides a flow over the airfoil section. So, a paraglider pilot relies heavily on aerodynamics, and I had a high flying time. Aerodynamics are not just limited to things that fly. Your parents' car, van, or truck may be aerodynamically designed. In fact, when they're designing a new vehicle, they often give it a wind tunnel test for aerodynamics. And what they do is they stick lots of little pieces of ribbon across the vehicle with sticky tape. Then they turn on a powerful jet engine that blows air whoosh, over the vehicle. Now, it depends on which way those ribbons flap as to how aerodynamic that vehicle is. Well, I don't have a huge jet engine, but I do have some ribbon and sticky tape. Just how aerodynamic am I? I'll go for a run and find out. can test your own theories of aerodynamics. You know how I was talking about how different shapes collect drag because of wind flow? Well, test that out too. Take one piece of paper. Throw it and see how far it flies. Hmm. That piece of paper travelled a short distance before floating to the ground. Well, the next test is to take one piece of paper and squish it into a ball. Then take the ball and throw that. See how far this piece of paper travels. Well, that piece of paper travelled quite a bit further. But we must be able to make a piece of paper fly even further. Time to test a paper dart. Take one piece of paper and fold it. Let's see how far this piece of paper will fly. Are you ready? And the countdown is three, two, one, blast off! Woohoo! Do you see how far it travelled? This piece of paper, flat piece of paper, travelled only this far. The scrunched up ball travelled quite a bit further but the paper dart could fly. Try making your own paper darts and see how aerodynamic they are. Try different weights of paper. Try different wingspans. Maybe flaps up or flaps down. Try weighting the nose of your plane or the back. See how you get on. Which paper dart will be more aerodynamic than the other? Well, I've got to fly. Ka kite. Hey Mum and Dad, thanks for paying your broadcasting fee.